everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So if you read the title of this video, I have all five shades of the new extension of the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek um, Lip Liner line. I have all five shades. I'm so excited. Um, I, this is my number one lip liner. I, I just did a video on the Hourglass ones and I do really like it. However, I do have an update on that one. So stay tuned to that because um, I'm going to do, be doing some comparisons. But uh, this is by far my number one lip liner and I just did a massive declutter of lip liners and I kept every single one. Um, so when I heard that they were doing an extension, I was very excited and they did send these all to me. Um, I did also get all 10 shades of their brand new lipstick. So they have five new pinks and five new reds. So those are gonna be coming up in a separate video. What I decided to do is to go ahead and break this up into three videos. So today I'm gonna to be covering the lip liners and there will be a separate video for the pink lipsticks, which are in the Kissing Formula, and then a separate video for the red lipsticks, which is in the Matte Revolution Formula. So today we're going over the lip cheats. So I am gonna try and make this a fairly quick video, um, pretty much like I did with the hourglass one, um, going to try them on and I'll fill them in and then just kind of show you what they look like. Now these are definitely a, an extension of the, for, uh, the, the line that she has and you know there's only one really nude. Everything else is like pink. There's like two pinks and two reds. So this is definitely a, a different extension. This isn't just more pink nudes, pinky nudes or whatever. There's definitely um, some more color to her line. And I think that goes in line with one to coincide with her existing lipstick line, but also with these new shades, these 10 new shades with the five pinks and the five reds. So let's go over what the shades are. So first we have Icon Baby, which is a rose nude, then 90s pink, which is a 90s inspired pink, then the queen, a hot pink, mark of a kiss, a muted red, and red carpet red, a modern red. These are the five shades. And let me go ahead and show you some swatches. These are swatches that I did. And we have from left to right, Icon Baby, 90s pink, the queen, mark of a kiss, and then red carpet red. So those are the five shades. So I will say I will be doing, um, I did a couple comparisons with some of the hourglass. Really the only two that maybe had any sort of similarities are Icon Baby and 90s Pink. Icon Baby, um, and they, there really wasn't that many similarities to be honest. And then I also did um, Pillow Talk. So I'll talk about that in a few minutes, but I did a, a swatch Pillow Talk as well. And then I Iconic Nude isn't really close at all. So these are definitely different shades. And then I did want to compare them to the Hourglass just because I just did a video on them and those are all nudes, um, but those are very different as well. Now, I will say one of the things that happened to me when I was doing the swatches of the Hourglass one is I only, I swatched the first three shades. So one, two, and three, every single one broke. Every single one broke when I was just swatching it on my arm, every single one broke, which made me have to sharpen it again. And then the only one I didn't have to do that is um, number four, which is Uncover. So you can see already, Uncover, they're all the same. Uncover is still, you know, considerably longer than the other three. Well, that's not a big amount, but that was just one time. And when I tell you, I was like, the first one broke, okay, fine. The second one broke, the third one broke. So I'm, now I'm, I'm really hesitant about these because for $29 for them to break, I, again, that was swatching, that was not applying on my lips, but that makes me really nervous because those are pricey and I can't recommend them if they're gonna break so easily. So I'm kind of uh, on hold with those right now. I like the formula, I like the way they look, but you know, so that's just a little update on them. Um, and then I am going to, you know, swatch and compare, but let's go ahead and well, let's, well, let's, let's do those swatch comparisons first. Okay, here are some swatches that I did um, on my arm before I started filming. So from left to right, we have the Hourglass Expose 1, the Hourglass Flaunt 2, Charlotte Tilbury Icon Baby, the Hourglass 
Tempt 3, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and then Charlotte Tilbury 90s Pink. So those are the comparisons. Obviously you can see Pillow Talk is much more pink, different shade, so it's not comparable to the two new shades. And then even these shades, they're not they're, they're just different. So they're, they're both, um, you know, 90s pink is definitely a, a more of a pink. It is, you know, a 90s inspired pink. So 90s inspired is more, you know, nudes. And, uh, you know, I remember, I remember the 90s. I graduated high school in the 90s. So these are definitely similar, but they are different as far as, you know, there's enough differences. And then again, the formula is different. So I, again, I've mentioned, I love the lip cheat formula. It is my number one formula. Um, they're easy to sharpen. They last, they're, you know, they're, they're water resistant. They last throughout the day and um, they're just, it's just fabulous. So the regular size is $25. These are consistent. These are not limited edition. These are part of the existing line. So, you know, if you're thinking about getting one, but maybe you, you just, you don't need it. It right now don't feel like you're going to need to get it right now because it is um part of the regular line so there's not going to be limited edition so let's go ahead and start with the first shade icon baby okay so here is icon baby and as i stated this is a rose nude now icon baby does have a coordinating lipstick in the new lipstick line so we will in that video i will be sharing that and much like i did in the other videos i'm going to line my lips and then I'm also going to fill in the lip so you can really see the entire color. That's not necessarily how I wear my lip liner. However, that's how I'm going to do it today so you can see the entire color. Okay, and here is Icon Baby. This is definitely the lightest of the new five. The other ones are significantly darker and the two reds, I mean, you have a hot pink and then two reds. So this is definitely the only one that's probably, this is probably, I would say, kind of an in-between iconic nude and pillow talk. So this is Icon Baby. And here is 90s pink, which is described as a 90s inspired pink and definitely darker. Okay, and this is 90s pink, so definitely darker. Um, it's a really pretty color. Now this one also has a coordinating lip um, lipstick in the new uh, lipstick extension line that is the pink kissing formula. So I will be trying that one on in a separate video. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna be very similar in shade, but this is 90s pink. Okay, the third shade in the new extension is the Queen. So the Queen is a hot pink and there is an existing shade already in the lipstick. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm, uh, I think it's matte, but I'm not sure. The Queen is a was a lipstick inspired by uh, Queen Elizabeth II and I don't add it. You know, I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury line. The Queen is one of them I don't have just because I really don't wear hot pink very often but um, maybe I'll need to get it after having this lip liner. So let's go ahead and apply it. Okay, and this is the queen. So um, as much as I, you know, loved Queen Elizabeth II, I don't think this is my shade. Um, I, I'm just not a hot pink. I actually don't hate it though. Is it something I'm gonna wear? No but um, I can definitely probably make this, use this with something else or maybe a, a lipstick shade that um, needs, you know, maybe it's very muted or very light and I wanna kinda liven it up a little bit, maybe wear this and kinda combine it, but um, am I gonna wear this on its own or probably get the lipstick shade? Probably not, but if you look for a hot, I mean, I like that they added this because I think there was definitely a need for a shade like this in the line. So this is the queen. Okay, now we're getting into the two red lip liners. So the first is Mark of a Kiss, and this is a muted red, and this also has a coordinating lip shade with it in the new Matte Revolution formula for the red. This is probably the red I'm the most excited about. When I saw the reds, and I have talked about this before, I am not a red lipstick girl. However, this particular red really was like, hmm, I, I like that one. So I am excited about this one. So let's go ahead and see the lip liner. Okay, and this is Mark of a Kiss. Again, this is a muted red. And as much as I say I don't like red lipstick or I just, it's not that I don't like red lipstick. I just don't like red lipstick on me. I actually really like this one. This was the one that I, uh, well, at least the, the lipstick, this is the liner, but um, this shade was one that I was like, oh, I, I like that one. I think that would suit me. And I, I really like it. So 
I'm very anxious to try the lipstick with this one, but uh, this is the lip liner and this is Mark of a Kiss. And the last of the new lip liner shades is Red Carpet Red. And this is um, the only one that doesn't have a coordinating lipstick that I know of. Um, it does, there is a red carpet pink, but there's not a red carpet red. Um, and this is described as a modern red. So I think this is more of a blue red, I think, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, so we're gonna try this one on and see. Okay, and this is Red Carpet Red. So um, it's not my favorite, because <laughs> again, not a red person, but um, it's not bad. I, you know, uh, again, I will probably, um, I did keep the uh, the airbrush blur, so uh, some of the darker shades. So I definitely now I have a lip liner to go with that. But um, I definitely, of the two reds, I do prefer, just with my skin tone and my undertone, I prefer the mark of the red, or mark of a kiss, I'm sorry. But um, I think this is probably for somebody, and, and this is just definitely a brighter red. And, and you know, I don't also don't think it looks bad. It's just not one that I would gravitate towards. So this is Red Carpet Red. Okay, so that is it for these five new uh, lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, the Lip Cheat is my favorite lip liner formula. Um, just fantastic. So very excited for this extension of the line and definitely for some of these shades. Um, I think the Queen and Red Carpet Red are the two that will probably not get the most use in my collection, but I'm definitely keeping them. I will definitely use them at some point. Uh, but the other three, I am very excited about. And I'm really excited about, funny enough, I'm really excited about Mark of a Kiss because it is a really, to me, it's a more wearable red for myself. For someone who doesn't really wear red lipstick, to me that makes it a little bit more wearable. So I'm very excited to try the lipstick for that to co coordinate. And, um, you know, I think these are great. So uh, these are again, $25. These are uh, going to be permanent from what I know. So don't feel like you're in a rush to get them. But if you're interested in or you're maybe in, you know, market for a new lip liner color, you know, you can definitely check these out. As always, I do have a promo code for your first order on charlottetilbury.com uh, and it is Shannon F. FA012, it will save you 15% off. And uh, there will be affiliate links below uh, in the description box. So if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.